Andrew Barker with Bendix King, and today let's do a walkthrough of the Aero Cruise 100. To engage the autopilot, we've got a couple of different options. We can push the AP level button, or we can click the knob here and engage the autopilot. So let's click the knob. Click. It's going to engage. It's going to synchronize to our current track as shown on the left side of the display, and our current vertical speed as it's shown here on the right side. Now, a couple of quick notes about this main screen. The the lateral axis of the autopilot is always on the left side. So you can see your current track on the, on the top left is showing 086, and our selected track on the bottom left. Now the right hand side of the screen is our selected vertical speed. If we had an altitude select or something like that, that would also be shown on that right hand side of the screen. So now that we've engaged the autopilot, synchronized to again our current track and our current vertical speed, let's change the track. We'll rotate here and say we want to fly to 125 degrees, so rotate the knob to the right, and the autopilot will now make a right-hand turn. So the aircraft's going to turn and then roll out on that 125 degrees. We can do the same thing in the vertical axis. We can change our selected vertical speed by clicking the knob, and now command the vertical speed you want the autopilot to fly. So now we're climbing at 400 feet per minute. This is an open vertical speed climb, so we're not going to a target altitude. If we want to go to a target altitude, then we can do that as well. So we'll push ALT and let's say we want to climb to 6,500 feet and let's do it at 500 feet per minute. So now we've entered those two things. Now the autopilot is in altitude select. So you can see the top right hand side of the screen shows SEL 6,500. The bottom right hand side of the screen shows selected vertical speed of 500 feet per minute. We can also do GPS steering in this product. So if we want to follow a flight plan in the GPS, we push our mode button, and now it's going to fly to and follow our flight plan. So now we've got GPS steering as well as we're climbing to that target altitude. Once it gets to that altitude, it will level off and hold that 6,500 feet. To disengage the autopilot, we have a couple of different options as well. We can click the knob on the front, or excuse me, push and hold the knob on the front. So we'll push and hold, and it says AP off and we release, and now the autopilot is disengaged. As I said earlier, uh, to engage the autopilot, we can do a couple of different things. We do that click here, or we can push the AP level button. So let's push the AP level button. Now the autopilot engages and goes to zero bank and zero vertical speed. And after about 10 to 12 seconds, once the aircraft is stabilized, then the lateral mode will actually drop, as it just did, back into the selected track mode. So now we're back into the normal autopilot mode, flying a selected track and a selected vertical speed. We can dial in whatever direction we want to get ourselves out of that trouble that we found ourselves in. To disengage the autopilot again, we can push and hold that knob for a second, or we can use our control wheel steering button, which isn't in the screen, but a click of the control wheel steering button, and the autopilot disengages. We're going to talk about some of the safety features that are built into the Aero Cruise 100. We've got a couple of features that we have built in here. We've got the AEP mode, that's a bank angle protection mode. We've also got minimum and maximum airspeed, so you can't command anything that will stall or redline the aircraft. Let's start by talking about AEP. The lower left of the screen here, you can see AEP is off. To arm this feature, we push the mode button and it goes to AEP standby. Now we toggle this only when the autopilot is off, as you see in the lower right. So the autopilot is powered up, but it's not flying the aircraft. When the autopilot is engaged, obviously it does not need this safety feature because it's flying the aircraft. So AEP is in standby and we're going to monitor the bank angle of the aircraft. As long as the bank angle is below 40 degrees of bank, this doesn't do anything. It just sits there and continues monitoring what you're doing. If the bank angle gets over that 40 degrees of bank, then we're going to engage this system and it's going to give the pilot a, an alert in the stick. He's going to feel the servo in the stick and apply a little bit of correction back to help him get the bank angle down below that 40 degrees, down to about 35 degrees, and then the system will turn the servo off and it's all, all your aircraft again. Now, the great thing about this is that it's a very small force in the control system. It's very easy to override. So you don't have to feel like you're really fighting the servos to do this. So we'll turn AEP back to off here. All right, so let's talk about the min and max airspeed feature now. So we'll engage the autopilot. And again, it synchronizes our current track and our current vertical speed, just like it always does. Let's move the cursor over here to the right. And let's assume that we we're gonna command a large vertical speed climb. Let's say we're gonna command that 1200 foot per minute climb now we remember we have that min and max airspeed. That min airspeed is set at 1.3 VSO at time of installation, and the max airspeed is set at 0.9 VNE. So if I command this 1,200 foot per minute climb and I'm in a Cessna 172, then that 1.3 VSO, the airspeed is going to bleed off until we get there. It's going to hold that airspeed. 
And then you'll actually see an enunciation on the display that'll say min AS, and it'll continue flashing that and holding that airspeed rather than stalling the aircraft. Now the same is actually true on the maximum side of the airspeed. So let's rotate this down. Let's say we're gonna command an 1800 foot per minute descent. Now again, that's the exact same thing, that 0.9 VNE, the airspeed is gonna build to that point and it will not go beyond it. It'll hold that maximum airspeed and keep you from overspeeding the aircraft.